back again uh, to my channel all about BI. So in the last session, we discussed about ultra row transformation. Okay. So what we did in this particular session is we had an Excel file which had certain records and uh, there were some null records in the sense. Uh, there were formatting applied to the rows, but there was no data. Okay. What we did then is we then filtered those records before uh, we loaded to the sync. Okay, so today I'm going to show more about uh, this alt row transformation so that uh, we are learning it completely. Okay, so this is the Excel file uh, which we referred in the earlier session. Okay, only one change that I have done to this particular file is I have added the serial number column. Okay, in order to show you something uh, uh, in today's session, I have added this column. Okay, so in last session, we would have just seen this particular file with these many columns only. So, what we did was based on the uh, unit price i think what we did is we filtered these two empty or null records okay so today what we are going to do is we are going to uh, implement a logic called absurd logic okay absurd in the sense update or insert okay so <clears throat> uh, this is similar to slowly changing dimension type 1 okay what is slowly changing dimension means a record in input file you have to check before in, before inserting okay you have to check whether already present or not okay so uh, in our case what we should be doing is if it is already present we will have to update the record okay if it is not present insert the record this logic is called upset logic update or insert logic for example in in our file right if you consider this file we have 100 records starting from 1 till 100 okay so first time when you are going to insert this file right so it is going to insert all the 100 records okay because every time it is going to insert a new record based on the serial number column we will decide whether this record has already been inserted to the table or not so based on the serial number column we will decide whether to insert or update so in the first time when we are going to insert this file it will have 100 records okay second time if you are going to insert the same set of records it's not going to insert anything new it's just going to update the records with the column values available okay so for example in the first time assume we have inserted 100 records in the second time what uh, we have done is instead of this australia and oceana right we have updated it to be india okay no other change in any other column okay so uh, when we load the file again okay so it is going to update the region of number one to be india from australia and oceana okay so this is what absurd logic first time 100 records will get inserted second time all the records will get updated in our case we can verify it by checking the region of india if there is no other change it is just going to be the same okay even after loading the second time these all records will be looking alike okay we will be uh, looking at a practical demo to understand more about it all right so coming back to uh, azure data factory adf.azure.com right so we have this data flow so up to this we have implemented in last session what we did is we have a source file column okay uh, in in this source file column we have just added serial number so in last session we haven't had the serial number column so what i did is i have pointed my source to the new file which is there in my uh, um, portal azure portal okay or blob storage so we have these many columns and this alter row what it is doing is if uh, there is any null record or if there if the serial number is null we are asking it to delete okay in our case we have implemented a serial number which is the primary key for this file or table okay so based on this we are de deciding if there is no value for the serial number uh, column right we will ignore that record or we will delete that from incoming data set okay when i say we will delete from incoming data set we are not going to delete in the excel file just understand and those records will be pulled inside the data flow buffer so from that buffer only we are going to delete all right so um, in, in this alter column we have implemented this delete f uh, so what we are going to today i um, mean do now is we have to add one more logic to it which is nothing but absurd logic so uh, there are other logics we have tried just delete if there is insert if update if so this is these records these uh, conditions are similar to delete if you will have to implement a 
expression based on that expression it is going to decide whether to insert or delete or update okay so now we are going to insert this up, i mean uh, we are going to see this upset logic <coughs> so the expression for upset logic is quite simple just write a true which will always be evaluating to true in the sense it will internally check whether to up update or insert okay so for each row what it means is for each row in the incoming data set it's going to check whether to update or insert you can you may ask based on what column it is going to check it that is what i'm going to tell you now for that right we need to add a sync to this particular data flow I have created a table in my Azure uh, uh, database, Azure SQL database. So I will quickly log in and show you. So right now it's not letting me log in because we have to set the firewall settings. I have to add my client IP to the firewall so that it's not uh, blocking me from accessing the database. Okay. So once we are done with this, I can log in. I have uh, just imitated the same file in the Azure SQL database. So if you see this particular table, right, it has same set of columns as my <coughs> input file. Okay, there is no change. But only one thing that we have to notice, we don't have any space in the column names. But in the Excel file, if you see, right, we'll have uh, space in the sales channel column, item type column, order priority, order date and order ID and all. Okay, so in the only change between the file and table is we don't have a space in the in column names for table. Okay, so uh, I will quickly delete the records. Delete from if, if at all something is existing, right? We'll delete it. Delete from T underscore sales data. All right, so now uh, what we are going to do is first time we are going to uh, execute this particular data flow okay but before that what we have to do is certain properties in the sync uh, data set okay so we have to choose uh, let us see if this SQL uh, data set is pointing to the sales data okay T ADF uh, sales data we will check T sales data so we have to change this particular uh, uh, table name it has to our data set has to point to the t underscore sales data we will quickly verify if uh, this is empty okay all right so this is the data set we are going to use in the um, data flow all right so this is fine so go to settings here you have something by default this allow insert will be checked okay if you if you are going to perform an upset or update right uh, you have to make sure you are checking this if you are not going to uh, check this option right then it is not going to let you execute the pipeline okay so what i'll do i'll uh, just check the upset logic okay because we are going to implement it okay now once you click it right up there will be appearing one more column key columns based on what column you have to decide whether you have to update or insert the records that is what i told you right based on the serial number column we will decide if the serial number is newly coming 1 to 100 means it is going to update if it is not 1 to 100, if it's anything other than that, it's going to insert. Okay. So based on serial number column, we have to decide whether to insert or update. All right. I am choosing this. And then uh, see, using this alter uh, row transformation, right, you will be able to perform uh, data definition language commands as well. DDL. Okay. We are doing manipulation here. DML commands. So you can implement a D DDL commands as well. So if you are using that, right, you will have to uh, choose this option here. Either you have to recreate the table. Okay. All right. So uh, I have chosen this serial number under key columns. So based on serial number, we are going to decide whether to update or insert. Okay. So once this is done, go to mapping ones. So this mapping column is very important because uh, by default, right, if you switch it off the auto mapping, you have to add it manually okay when i say we have to uh, add it manually i'll first delete everything and we'll show start from the beginning okay so when you observe our uh, uh, data source right i'll be showing something to make this uh, job easier so when you observe this set of uh, input records right there are some columns which are um, string type which are something or date type and some other thing or double time 
so what we have to do in the sink of mapping is we have to add those many columns which are present in our source file i think there will be around 10 to 12 columns i think let's quickly check okay so we have around 15 columns so uh, what we have to do we have to keep on adding 15 columns okay otherwise we can implement something called rule based mapping this is what i discussed in one of my previous uh, uh, sessions okay which is nothing but uh, column patterns okay so we are going to you make use of that particular column pattern now so i am going to implement rule based mapping here so my condition is just bring me all the columns which has the type string okay just bring me the column of type string we have to give a uh, destination or sync column name here it has to be similar to however we have declared it in the table name okay in our case right uh, whatever is the input column that is the output column but with only one change that uh, we don't have any space here okay so we have to handle that so what we are going to do is so what we are going to do is we are going to replace um, the incoming column name incoming column name and outgoing column name both are same except that outgoing has no space in it so incoming all the incoming columns of type string in that replace the space with this empty string okay we have to remove the space basically in, in between the keywords in between the column names so this is how we implement um, the condition for string based column similarly we have to implement the condition for uh, uh, double column and date column similar similarly okay type of columns equal to double if it is the case bring all the columns and map it to the same column name but make sure to replace the column names by removing space in between okay so uh, you can ask me whether it will work or not so for that only what we can do is we can preview the uh, results okay if it's not matching it will not display anything see there is a, it's saying there is no double column okay no input columns are matched but for string it is bringing us region country input type sales channel and broader priority so see the output name there is no space in it we have removed it replaced it okay so we will quickly check why it is not bringing us the double based to columns so, so we have to check whether okay we have to type uh, it in lower case i think so that will uh, uh, fix the issue so i'll just click it and then i'll say small d and then now if you if i did that right the immediate instance is bringing me all the columns of type double so similarly we have to write uh, um, one more expression for date based columns so i am just going to repeat it type of the column equals to date okay and then map it to the same column name as input columns but just that replace the input dollar dollar will bring the input column names which are matching the expressions that we have given so about dollar dollar also i have discussed in my um, earlier session so please watch that all right so we'll check it quickly okay super so we have now all the columns present in our mapping so it's uh, the only thing that is left out is we'll have to run the pipeline okay so i'll so we'll uh, execute the pipeline and see if uh, records get executed to the sales data table okay i'm just running my pipe it's still running so let's uh, give us some time so once we uh, complete running it right so we'll be seeing 100 set of records in the output uh, table okay if we run second time with the same file it is not going to do any change uh, it's just going to have the same set of records okay so i'll be uploading this particular file in my git uh, repository okay you can find the link for git url in my about column in my profile in youtube okay so what i request you to do is you can change the values and load the same record okay so then you can test this absurd logic by yourself okay so let's come back to see if it has executed it's still taking time meanwhile we can query it's 
it's a very interesting topic uh, to learn so i request you to try it out by uh, downloading the file that i have uh, put it in my uh, git repository okay i'll just show you that as well so in, inside cloud based stack right you can find the xlsx file here cs data dot xlsx okay so let's come back still running okay it will take some time all right i think uh, it has started coming so we'll just uh, check the count okay count of one from sales data so just uh, make sure if you are using this particular alter or transformation right this key column these uh, update method options and then mapping so these three things have to be kept in mind if you are using this alter row transformation so let's see uh, okay select count of one has brought us 100 records so if i run the same file again the same count is going to come it's not going to insert it newly we'll again see 100 records if i'm changing any value it's just going to update the value again it's not going to insert it okay only if it is going to see a new number in the serial number column it's going to perform an insert okay i think i have made it clear if you have any doubts uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section thanks a lot for watching if you like my videos please uh, subscribe to my channel